Salute, man. Bad boy D here. And today, I was early enough, and I'm privileged enough to have the entire gym to myself. So I thought I'd take this opportunity without distraction to film my video today. And it's some no fap motivation. The top 10 benefits of no fap. After my two years of experience, two plus years, I actually already created a video, the 30 benefits of no fap. However, I thought I would put a personal touch on it do this one face to face, not an audio recorded version. Put a new fresh perspective on the topic and condense her down to 10 instead of 30. The 10 benefits of NoFap that have benefited me the most after my two years experience. Let's chop it up. Stay tuned. Bad boy D. <laughs> TV. Now, number 10 would most definitely be motivation. When you're doing the no fap, I almost said challenge. It's not a challenge, it's a lifestyle if you're gonna do it. You are just not a lazy person. You have such motivation. You basically, your mind's racing with all these things you want to do. And they're all productive, good, healthy things. And it's almost as if you feel you don't have enough time in the day to even get them all done. But you do get a lot done. And they're all good things and they all benefit your life. That's at least the case for me. And I'm sure it'd be the case for you. If you do no fat, you have motivation to prepare healthy food, to create new projects, to have plans for yourself in this life. The possibilities and the motivation is endless, but yes, the motivation on the no fat, it's not a coincidence. You definitely get more motivation from the no fat. Whether it's your adrenal glands functioning more properly, more properly, or your testosterone working more efficiently, which I do believe it does, I'll get to that. You have unlimited, endless motivation on no fat. Number nine, I'm gonna call testosterone works better. And your testosterone just seems to function more properly on no fap. There's a few theories as to why that your androgen receptors work better, which means your body absorbs and utilizes the testosterone properly, which would explain the facial hair growth, and the increased libido. And it actually has been scientifically shown that after ejaculation, your androgen receptors are more receptive to absorbing estrogen and prolactin, which are not good hormones in a man's body. You get a like an alpha mental sharpness that's unparalleled. It's not like I acquired this with age. I'm 35. Like, it's kind of supposed to decline a little bit at my age. But it's never been better. And to me, there is no shadow of a doubt. It's not a coincidence. There's definitely, no fact, definitely plays a huge factor in that. Number eight is improved mood and less anxiety. I had a few comments in my first no fat video that I wasn't trying to be funny, but people found it entertaining that I said, you can just look at grass and be entertained. Like I can just stare at grass and be entertained. I can just look at grass and be like, mm-hmm. Look at that grass. It's all, 
all green and shit. But it's true, you don't require so much outside stimuli to be entertained. As a matter of fact, you find outside stimuli like movies and games less entertaining and less gratifying to your soul. You do seem to get entertained in general by much smaller things, which are actually much bigger things in the reality of things, because they could be a conversation with somebody, it could be enjoying nature, but the improved mood is definitely true. And less anxiety, like, we all get a little anxiety here and there, but I can't remember the last time I had, like, anxiety where it actually bothered me or affected my day. And in my early 20s, it happened often, so, like, the self-improvement and practicing better life habits help with that too, but it's no coincidence that the NoFap definitely helped in regard to improved mood and less anxiety. Number seven, I will call a sharp stress response. And what I mean by that is you do get stressed. We live in a very stressful world. It's not like NoFap is a magic cure for stress. However, you seem to respond to it in a more productive way. Let me explain. I've noticed that a lot of people say in a work scenario, when shit hits the fan and everything goes to hell, they almost shut down and complain more and the stress basically cripples them where they can't function efficiently and optimally. Whereas I've noticed since I've been on the NoFap that when a stressful situation hits, that's when I get into gear. That's when I really shine and function at my ideal optimal level. Because the fight or flight almost hits your brain in a way that your brain knows how to process it better. And you function at the optimal level you should function given that stressful situation and in that stressful situation. Stress still isn't healthy. You want to avoid those stressful situations as much as possible. But when you're in them, you'll be able to cope and rise to the occasion better than your fapper counterparts and be the leader when unfortunate situations that cause stress arise. Number six is intuition and sensitivity to the energy of others. For attraction, for example, you'll be much more intuitive to if a female's interested in you or not. You'll be able to gauge those choosing signals much better. And you'll be able to know when you should stay away, when you should stay away. Same goes for men. You will be able to read their energies. And sometimes be able to adapt and cope to them better. But you'll at least be able to sense better where they're coming from, where they're at at that specific time. You'll be able to sense intuitively the energies of what frame of mind and what they're projecting. It's hard to describe, but I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Like, for example, if you walk into a conversation where you are not welcome and they do not want you there, you'll be able to sense that like, way more. Like, your, I said, your gut intuition and that energy feeling, you, it's, it's amplified when you're on the NoFap. What I do in that case is I would look around and 
walk away. But yeah, you are definitely more sensitive to people's specific energies. Which definitely is like a tremendous benefit if you use it right. It's definitely one of those what they would consider no fat superpowers. Number five is sleep quality. You definitely receive a much more profound, deep, restful state of sleep. I almost kind of tested the no fap at first because that was one of the benefits I learned so much about that you don't require as much sleep. And I really tested it because at the time when I was a fapper, like if I didn't get like at least nine hours sleep, I was not in the game at all. Like I required a lot of sleep to function. So I really tested the waters when I started the no fap. When I was about a month in, I would get like five hours sleep and be like, I'll be all right. And surprisingly enough, I was. Like I was astounded how I could still function properly and be in the game and with such a lack of sleep compared to what I used to get. And I still prefer to get a solid eight hours sleep. I feel better with an eight hours sleep. But you do function much better. It's like you have that energy, vitality reserve to function much better, much better, when you're deprived of sleep that specific day or for a couple days. But yeah, the sleep thing is real. The other thing too is you have a lot less trouble getting out of bed. I actually have a little hack to get out of bed. I count down like a, a rocket ship. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. And for some reason, you always get up when you hit one. If you do the countdown, you get your ass out of bed for some reason. I feel like I'm missing out on some points here. However, no fat definitely increases how deep you sleep, decreases your requirement for sleep. You can function better when you don't get enough. I still encourage you to get eight hours sleep a night for optimal performance, especially on the no fat, it just amplifies things. I guess a way you could say it is like, if you only get four hours sleep on no fat, it's like getting 10 hours sleep when you were a fapper. You're still not feeling your best. But you're a heck of a lot better than you were before. When you were a dirty little fapper boy. And number four. The one you men prefer to know about the most for some reason. And I don't blame you. That's one of the reasons I kind of looked into it first. Is attraction. And yes, the attraction you get on NoFap is real. When I started NoFap, I almost looked for it more. Like, my, I got the super attraction. Like, these... These bitches are all going to be attracted to me. And the crazy part is, even me giving out that needy essence, maybe it was the inner confidence I have, or who knows, but I was getting way more choosing signals. As aforementioned, I don't know it's, if it's because I was looking for it more, or I was paying attention to it more, but there's no coincidence. There were women who... I saw on a daily basis who wouldn't look at me and wouldn't even give me the time of day that were gawking at me and starting up conversations. It wasn't a coincidence, without a shadow of a doubt. But I guess over time, you kind of get used to it. It just becomes part of your daily life that you do get more choosing signals. You do get much better positive interactions with women. Like, women are not bitches with you. They're a lot more feminine and giggly. And I'm honestly thinking about it right now. I'm trying to recall the last time a chick was, like, masculine with me. And they're not. 
it's funny because I'll see women acting masculine and bossy with other men. And when I talk to the same woman, like I've tried this just as tests, just random life experiments, let's call it. And they're giggly and feminine with me. Yet they're a total bitch to the other men. It's, there's, it's definitely not a coincidence. Like women, there's theories about pheromones or energies or your testosterone and your androgen receptors like I mentioned before. But there's definitely something to it. Who knows? It could be a combination of all those factors. But the, the attraction's real, guys. There's no ifs or buts about it. I can attest to it. I'm sure I would still get some benefit from women and not do too bad with women if I wasn't on the NoFap. But the, the difference, I, I'm telling you the difference would be night and day. If I became a daily fapper again, there's no way that the interactions would be as strong as some of them that I get. Like, don't expect, like, just you to walk around and women to be drooling over you. But you definitely get more choosing signals. And your interactions with women are much more positive. They get more in their feminine, and they're much more receptive to you as a man. Very, very interesting theory. I have a simpler one. You're all not worthy. If you're wondering why I'm doing that, it's because number three is glowing skin and nice, white, bright, lively eyes. I was making sure I had them. You still don't have them all the time, 100% of the time when you're on no fat. But there's a definite difference. Like, my eyes used to be bloodshot, like, all the time, and then me checking myself out in my camera now. But yeah, man. My eyes, look at your skin. Sorry, fellas, this is probably pretty nauseating, but you, you definitely have a glow to your skin, and the white of your eyes are much bigger. You almost seem to have, like, more hunter eyes when you're on the no fat. So the appearance could help with the female attention too. But yes, you definitely have a glow to your skin, blemish free skin, nice facial hair growth, and nice white eyes. Number two is it's much easier to take care of yourself. And this goes hand in hand with the motivation, but you keep your self care as a priority. Gym is always a priority. Eating healthy is always a priority. It could be the fact that you're going to the trouble and you're so committed to doing the no fap that you're gonna be, it's gonna be easier to be more committed to healthy practices in general. I'm trying to use logic and reason to debunk no fap a little bit, but also give it credit at the same time. Because no fap definitely plays a part in, well, you have more time in the day. You're not wasting an hour or two or however long, maybe 30 seconds for some of you, but you're not wasting the time on the computer or on the phone looking at garbage. I find you're motivated and you're much more at ease. It's easier taking, your, taking care of yourself on no fat. It's not as much of a chore, it's a priority of life, and your life dramatically improves no matter what if you're on the no fat. It's a no brain you should do it. Get on the no fat men. And stay tuned for... Number one is alpha male.
confidence. The confidence I gained, and I'm not sure if it was because of the discipline or the fact I was so proud of myself or the fact that I had nothing to be ashamed of anymore, but the alpha male confidence that you get from NoFap is un fucking paralleled it's I can't describe it it's amazing you definitely care less what others think of you your voice projects more I get at least one comment a week on this still relatively small YouTube channel that I'm faking my voice I would have to go to a lot of effort to fake my voice on such a consistent basis. I'm either like a professional at it or you think I would slip. Oh. Anyways, bad joke. You'd think I would slip up eventually. No, gentlemen, this is my real voice. You speak more with your diaphragm when you're on no fat. Your posture improves. You're more emotionally centered, and you just have a don't give a fuck attitude. And it's, I can't describe it. And I wouldn't have done it so diligently and for so long if there wasn't something to it. So yes, number one is by far the best one in regards to NoFap, and that is alpha male confidence, and it is 100,000 gazillion percent true. The God of Thunder! I appreciate you watching Bad Boy D TV for this impromptu 10 benefits of NoFap gym video today. I appreciate everybody who's subscribed to my channel, who leaves comments below. I think that's so cool. No fap and having a YouTube channel. This is the coolest thing ever. I'm so thankful. Thank you, Father Above. This is amazing. I wish you peace, prosperity, and many blessings, man. Thanks again for watching. Check out my latest video right there. Check out another cool ass video right there and subscribe to my channel right there. This is Bad Boy D. I'm out of here. Peace.